Hey, how's it going? This is Ed. Today, let's look at Alan Wake FSR3 mode from Luke FZ. This mode works on both Windows and Steam Deck. On the left side, we have FSR3 enabled, and the right side without FSR3. My ally is running at 25 watts performance mode. The game graphics were set to low with 1080p display resolution. The FSR3 really boosts the performance. The Alan Wake 2 gains extra 30 to 40% FPS. At the time I am recording this video, this mode is not free, so you have to pay to get it. Just let you know I am not promoting this mode here. If you can manage to get this mode, that's great. I believe the FSR3 will become a standard build-in feature just like FSR2 for most of video games in the near future. It's really exciting to see that we can gain so much performance with the current hardware by tweaking the software only. Of course, next I will show you how to add this mode to Alan Wake 2 on Windows device and Steam Deck. I don't have this game on my Steam Deck, but the process is almost same with Windows device. First, I want to show you the current compatibility list for this mode. So any games that show up on this list will work with this FSR3 mode. But just to be clear that the FSR3 mode setup process will be slightly different for each game. Usually Steam Deck need extra steps to set up, so don't just apply this video for other games. This video is dedicated for Alan Wake 2 on Steam Deck and Windows. I already have this list linked under this video description, so you can check out from there. I am assuming that you managed to get the mode files, so this is the latest mode file when I am recording this video. For the Alan Wake 2, we will use the folder named FSR2 FSR3-220. We just need to extract this zip file. Then we will get four files inside the extracted folder. Select and copy these four files. Then just open up your Alan Wake 2 game folder and paste them into the folder. Then go back to the FSR3 mode file folder and look for folder named Enable Fake GPU. Select this folder and then extract. Then you will get this file called FSR2 FSR3 .configure.toml. Select this file and click copy. Then go back to the Alan Wick 2 folder and paste this file into the folder. We are all done, now just double click on the Alan Wake 2 EXE file and run the game. You should see a screen like this one pop up in a second. This means the mode is in working condition now. You will also get a window and it tells you that your graphic driver is outdated. Just ignore them and click OK to continue. Once you get into the game menu, just select option, then go to graphics. Now you will see DLSS is show up here. The original game does not have this option. Now we can put the game into the DLSS and check the DLSS frame generation box below. So here I will just quickly show my game settings. I have everything set to low. Now we can enjoy the game with better FPS. Also just remember do not put this game into full screen mode. Just remember do not put this game into full screen mode after the FSR3 mode applied. The game will stop launch if you put the game into full screen mode. We can just leave it on board list, it works perfectly fine. If you want to remove this mode, just delete the file files we just copied over. That's all for how to set up the Alan Wake 2 FSR3 mode on Windows. On the Steam Deck 2, we just need to go to desktop mode and open up your Steam. And click on the library. I don't have the Alan Vic 2 here, but I will use Witcher 3 as an example. So assuming this is your Alan Vic 2 game. Let's move to the right side and click on the gear icon and then select properties. Click install the files on the left side. Then click browser button on the top right. This will bring us to the game installation folder. Now we just need to copy the 5 exact same mode files I show on the Windows section of this video over here. The Steam Deck and Windows use the exactly same FSR3 mode files. So make sure the 5 mode files are copied over here. Then we can close this window. 
The next step is very important and this is unique for Steam Deck. Make sure you click General from left side. Then go to Launch option and make sure you add this command into the Launch option box here. I have this command under my video description so you can just copy from there. Once the launch option is added, now you can close this window. Now you can launch the Allen Vic 2 with FSR3 mod. Guys, that's all for this one. Enjoy your gaming. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I will talk to you in the next one.